Welcome back to another video guys. My name is Chief Pat and today bringing you guys the first episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series since the new update has come out. Now taking a look at my base, I did switch around my base at Town Hall 8 since we did need to throw the Town Hall on the inside. Taking a look at what's upgrading, I have two cannons underway right now and I'm going to go ahead and upgrade one of the gold storages right there as well as the elixir storage. Seeing as I'm running out of most buildings to upgrade, uh, I really only have dark elixir troops as well as walls remaining at this Town Hall level. Now we're going to try to farm today and see if we can get some dead bases. I know I haven't posted an episode since the update came out, but I have been doing some live streams and done a little bit of farming here and there to test it out myself. So hopefully we can get a cannon done today and let's go ahead and search for a couple of bases. Honestly, one of the things I have noticed while farming on my Town Hall 8 account is that it has been a little bit more difficult to find those quote unquote dead bases. Uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe they've tweaked something inside of the system. It seems like with every update, maybe we see more and more dead bases, but especially with this update, usually it takes me maybe a little bit less time to record an episode. So I've noticed a little bit with my farming on my streams. I've noticed it even when I'm just playing off video or off stream and uh, attacking a couple of bases today, it did take me a little while to find a couple of these dead bases but this is the first one here who is tib x and it doesn't look like he's adjusted too well to the whole town hall on the inside concept i've actually sort of been cracking up because a lot of the bases i forget that there's loot inside of the town hall especially for something like this where those elixir pumps in the town hall are useless to me i'm just gonna go ahead and end the battle right there take my 217,000 gold and whatever elixir comes after that again if you guys are just tuning into a couple of these episodes i don't care about elixir whatsoever i really only have two more upgrades to do with elixir which is the heal spell and the pekka upgrade so i don't care about it whatsoever i'm gonna get it no matter what i do with any of my raids and uh, let's go ahead and read this ba raid this base right here where it looks like there's a decent amount of gold mines on the top right hand side of the base all right so troops are making their way in wall breakers on both of those layer of walls I'm gonna go ahead and drop my king as well and he's gonna storm his way into the center of the base so so far so good and honestly i'm probably not even gonna go for the elixir collector seeing as it would just be a waste of troops i'm sort of just plowing my way through the gold mines and then as soon as that's all over seeing as this elixir really means nothing to me i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys that as an early christmas present and uh, hopefully the next attacker can make better use of it than i can so 245,000 gold and uh, something to note is that the trophy count that i'm at right now is about 1100 trophies i know after the update came out i was winning enough defenses that bumped me up to like 1400 or 1500 trophies and honestly i wasn't finding any loot at those town hall levels now i only tried for maybe 30 to 45 minutes at those levels before i dropped down and i started finding better bases maybe i was just getting unlucky right there maybe i need to test the range a little bit more but for me i've been finding a decent amount of loot from a thousand to 1200 trophies uh, so for you guys who are town hall eight and maybe looking to get a little bit of loot that's where i've been having success so far with bases like this with over 350,000 gold so most of the gold is on the top hand side of the base. I did put some archers on the left and right hand side, uh, which were able to snipe down those gold mines that were sort of just hanging out there unprotected. Rest of my troops are going to take care of this stuff right now. And seeing as there's only just a little bit of gold left, which is disappearing from that gold mine on the left hand side, that will do it for the gold. Of course, the town hall right here is going to be useless to me. I'll fake him out with a barbarian and that'll be it for 350,000 gold, as well as a little bit of elixir and dark elixir to pay for the troops that we dropped inside of the this raid so so far so good it feels like sometimes raiding nowadays on my town hall 8 account there will be a 20 minute period where i'll just be nexting 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 and not finding any bases and then there are certain periods where in a five minute stretch i'll keep finding maybe three good bases in a row that only take one or two clicks uh, but i'd say it's still fine at town hall 8 especially in the trophy range that i'm in right now i know i'm not using any of those expensive army compositions to plow through bases and to try to get those league bonuses that i feel like uh, the developers were trying to get us to do uh, inside those forum posts you know trying to get the 70 percent uh, damage to get 100 percent of the league bonus or whatever but seeing as i'm in silver and maybe even gold if i wanted to go up to gold i'm not really caring about those bonuses anyway so i'm going to stick to where i am right now and even though it has slowed down just a little bit from where it was pre-update i feel like town all eight is still okay at least where i am right now i'm not trying to save up for those massive dark elixir upgrades which are going to come a little bit later at town hall 8 i have to upgrade stuff like my golem i have to upgrade my valkyries my hog riders which obviously cost a little bit more dark elixir it's been pretty easy to save for my barbarian king i think the last upgrade that i did was twenty five thousand dark elixir but we'll have to see how it is when i try to save up for those big upgrades because honestly that's really the only complaint i've seen from people at town hall 8 now at town hall 9 10 and 11 those guys have a laundry list of problems that they will definitely tell you about and that i've been seeing everywhere with whether it's the youtube 
comments, Reddit, the forums. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to see what happens with those other town hall levels. But for me, I'm decently happy right now at Town Hall 8. Again, when I have to save up for those Dark Elixir upgrades, I've been hearing that's where people uh, really get stumped and it's really hard to save up because Town Hall 9s that are hitting you with fully maxed out army compositions for their level uh, do a pretty good amount of work against your base and you're getting hit for two to 3,000 every time you try to save up for those big upgrades. So we'll have to cross that road as soon as it gets there. But let's go ahead and finish up this raid right here where we ended up getting 238,000 gold as well as almost 200,000 Elixir paired up with 652 dark elixir so overall pretty good rating i rated for about 45 minutes and i was able to get uh, the 1.76 million gold that i needed again i do speed up my troops so that isn't typical to what you guys might see but overall it was pretty decent for me inside of this episode let's go ahead and grab our mortar mauler achievement finish off that cannon and that will wrap it up for our builders inside of today's episode so i am going to continue upgrading those that gold storage and elixir storage i definitely want to get that elixir storage up so i can upgrade that pekka uh, which is the only upgrade that costs more than 400 or 4 million of any resource at town all eight so i'm going to upgrade to make sure i can get that done uh, but yeah that's going to do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think about farming at town all eight or whatever town hall level you are at in the comment section below until next time i will see you guys later peace out